just like all parts of our body, change with age. There's widespread fear that with aging comes an inevitability of cognitive decline and dementia. This is understandable. Dementia is scary. People don't want to lose their memories, independence, and connection to others. Today, over 5 million people are living with this reality in the United States. That's 1 in 10 Americans over age 65. These numbers are expected to rise to as many as 75 million people worldwide will be living with dementia by 2030. But there is good news. There is a message of hope and empowerment that all people must hear. Recent research indicates that the future of our brain health looks much brighter. There is increasing evidence that our brain health is significantly impacted by our lifestyle choices. And although we cannot control age or genetics, we can control our lifestyle. There's a lot of buzz about brain health recently. And frankly, I'm quite excited about it. Before we were talking a lot about dementia and brain diseases, but now more and more you're hearing a lot about brain health and what we can proactively do in our lifestyles to improve our brain health and reduce our risk for developing dementia. I think it's easiest to remember if we consider them in four categories. Healthy lifestyle behaviors around nutrition, around exercise, around mental exercise, and also around social engagement can increase cognitive function, improve brain health, and reduce risk of dementia. By adopting brain-healthy habits, we drastically reduce our risk of dementia by well over half. Let's take a closer look at the four lifestyle components that can lead to optimum brain health. Physical activity is a proven strategy to lower the risk of Alzheimer's and vascular dementia. Because of its known cardiovascular benefits, a medically approved exercise program is a valuable part of any overall brain health program. When you exercise, your brain receives increased blood flow, increased oxygen, and increased nutrients for it to use to have energy. So, when you exercise, your brain forms more connections, allows you to think clearer, and overall improves your cognitive and brain health. First of all, exercise is the perfect medicine for anything. It's good for the mind, body, and the spirit. In terms of the mind, you know, because when you're exercising, you're increasing your blood flow, and you're also concentrating on certain movements or balance, that's going to be stimulating your brain activity. And the more blood flow, the better your memory and the better your learning. Some people think wellness is just, okay, diet, nutrition, exercise. And at Brightview, we think it's a combination of different factors. There's spiritual wellness, physical, intellectual, cultural, and emotional. So we naturally are already bundling these things into the lifestyles and the amenities that we provide for people who live here. We have specifically partnered with Bayada that has a team of trained professional fitness instructors. They interview each and every resident that wants to participate in this program and learn about their physical needs as well as their, their interests. So they're able to design a program that's specific to each community. So when Marguerite came to us, um, she could hardly get up out of her wheelchair. Um, we were able to work with her to strengthen her legs, strengthen her balance, give her more confidence in what she was doing, and we were working on improving her walking. She can just take herself from point A to point B and socialize and participate in those activities, and that really helps her to thrive. evidence suggests that heart-healthy eating may also help protect the brain. Three diets studied for their brain benefits are the MIND diet, the DASH, or dietary approaches to stop hypertension diet, and the Mediterranean diet, and all are similar in their nutritional recommendations. The food that you eat is the fuel for your body. So when you eat nutrient-rich foods, foods that have a lot of vegetables, lean proteins, filled with antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids. We now know from research 
that all of these foods lead to a healthier body and a healthier brain. It's important, to, you know, to to look at what you eat. Uh, you know, I'm not asking you to eat vegetable all day long. Of course, you can have a steak uh, once in a while, but you really have to incorporate uh, better, more nutritious uh, ingredients to, to your meals. We do a lot of uh, salads, tomato, all the antioxidants are, are very important for, not only for the brain, but for the overall body, for the, you know, for the heart, for, for all those diseases. I think, to me, I think it's the main difference is how you feel after the meal. I mean, it's nothing like uh, seeing a six resident uh, coming and having, bringing glass, a glass of red wine to the table and enjoying dining together and you hear the laughter. The, everybody is positive at the table and it's, it's really an activity. It turns to be very social and it's, I think it's amazing for, the, for everybody. Controlling chronic health conditions improve overall wellness and brain health. Staying on track with prescribed medications and adhering to medical recommendations can provide a greater quality of life and increased brain function. There are three chronic health conditions that older adults are at risk for that also have a negative effect on brain health. Diabetes, hypertension, and high cholesterol, all three impact the brain significantly. And if they're not managed correctly by health professionals, then the person would be at increased risk for developing dementia. So taking care of yourself in a healthy way to manage those chronic conditions are uh, by decreasing salt and sugar intake, by maintaining your blood pressure and your weight at a healthy level, and taking medications as prescribed by your healthcare practitioner. So essentially, taking care of your body means taking care of your brain. Interestingly enough, one of the most modifiable risk factors is hearing loss. When one cannot hear, they cannot engage or interact um, in life. So at Brightview, we use a hearing tool called Eversound. So Eversound is a high definition wireless headphone um, that the residents wear. Um, it picks up sound of, from any location and they can wear so that they can interact, whether it be a poetry reading, listening to a historical talk, or interacting in a book club. The Eversound headphone allows the resident to hear and to converse with other residents and friends um, that are participating in the activity. At Brightview, we can help you establish a lifestyle that helps you monitor these conditions that you may have and stay engaged in life, collaborating with many of the healthcare providers that work with you. Could be your physician, a dietitian, a physical therapist that get you engaged in the activities of the community um, with your um, friends and family. Studies indicate that maintaining strong social connections and keeping mentally active as we age lowers the risk of cognitive decline and dementia. While researchers are not certain about the reason for this correlation, it may be caused by the ways in which social and mental stimulation strengthen connections between nerve cells in the brain. Mental exercise is just as important as physical exercise. Physical exercise improves the strength of your body and your mind. Mental exercise targets your brain and tries to improve the fitness of your brain. This goes far beyond brain games. While those are helpful, there are other mental exercises that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that are even more impactful. Playing chess, going to lectures, learning new topics, learning new languages, all mental tasks that require you to really invest your energy, your brain energy, will improve the strengths of your cell connections in your brain and make your brain stronger just like lifting a weight at the gym. There is one particular type of social engagement 
that has been researched extensively and has been found to significantly reduce risk of dementia, and that's volunteerism. Volunteerism gives the person an opportunity to select something that's meaningful to them, that is challenging, and also gives back to the community. And we believe for those reasons, it has an extra effect, positive effect on their brain health. So at Brightview, we have developed a program to increase the amount of volunteers in our community. We call it Helping Hands. The residents choose what they'd like to do, whatever's meaningful to them. It's either within a Brightview community or in the broader community outside of our doors. All of these things, while fun, have the added benefit of improving your brain health and potentially reducing your risk for dementia. Our brains are the most important organ in our body. Adopting healthy brain lifestyles of exercise, nutrition, medical health, and social mental engagement are keys to living a fulfilling and vibrant life as we age. Brightview deliberately designs communities where we can touch on all different aspects of brain health and physical health. It has to do with providing opportunities that are of interest to a number of different people that live in our communities. It's easy to choose this lifestyle because we make it available right there at your fingertips. It's not just about living longer, it's about living healthier and more vibrant. We are committed to providing the programs and environment for living a longer, healthier, and more vibrant life. At Bradview, we want you to eat well, we want you to live longer, and we want you to be active for, for the rest of your life. And I think uh, that goes for everybody as well. I really want our Brightview residents to know that it's never too late. Our goal is to be a partner to all of our residents to help them make these lifestyle changes that will make their future brighter.